tell them. G Wizzle said to back at it. Back. Like Yolanda, you don't want no static. None. Cause that's when my niggas get it popping. Yeah. Crime and peace and body start dropping. Getting money cause we got no other option. None. Like Don Jail, how we stay copping. Get tell it. you the truth, ain't no one real as us. No. Like your first, you never get the same feel as us. Try eat a meal with us. Get up on my level. Up, we sound out of shovel. Oh, uh, what do you what are your thoughts on the current state of the game? Yeah, I mean, there's this new um, documentary out right now called The Defiant Ones. The so Defiant Ones is about uh, Jimmy Ivey from Interscope and Dr. Dre's journey. Yeah. And then it's like a four-part series. So in the last, the last one, that he talks about how he saw the game changing when the internet came out. So I think the biggest thing about the state of the game today is the internet. For better and for worse. Yeah. Well, for because anyone's a worse. publisher, right? Which is great. Yeah. That's power in that. You know? Yeah. But the negative side is that there's so much, um, um, there's so much competition. And it's not like back in the days where when you had sales, you were getting a lot of sales. Your yeah. songs are pretty much free now. Yeah. You know, only your true fans are going to support you by buying your stuff or streaming it, right? Yeah. So I'd, I'd say. It's the internet, for better or for worse, That's that defines the state of the industry right now. Yeah, and I guess it could also damage the scene too. For example, if uh, more people that are just throwing out content right. for fast food rap sake, as opposed to actually putting time and substance in it, it would probably turn off a lot of potential newcomers to the genre because they might 100%. label it all the same, right? 100%. Yeah. There's a lot of, there's a lot of pros and cons to music being um, so freely available on the internet, you know? Ooh. It's, it's a double-edged sword. It helps with promotion. You yeah. know, it's an easy way to get your music global, get well, yeah. people to hear you around the world, but at the same time, you're not gonna reap as much money back from the sales of it. Yeah, okay, so I guess that would lead us into a good lead into the next question, which would be, what's some of your advice to combat that would be with your book, Industry Tips? Yes, good point. So I have yeah. this new uh, booklet that I, I published in 2016. It's my first first uh, written publication. Not my first music publication, of course. But uh, and it's a 17-page booklet, and it's uh, it tells it's, it's it's actually called 13 Steps to Starting Your Own Independent Label in Canada. Yeah. So in this book, I outline uh, steps on monetizing your music in today's industry. So, uh, there's just 13 different things that you can do as an artist, as a, as a true artist that's been consistent to get money off your music, period. Yeah. This is just only the first, this is going to be like the first one of it. I'm going to do other volumes. It's supposed to be a book, but I mean, I find like writing a book is it's not as easy as writing albums. No. So I'm thinking I'm <laughs> just going to make it, I'm going to make it like this booklet series and maybe put it on Kobo or whatever. Yeah. You know? Yeah. get it on there and uh, so I mean let me give you one thing in there I say is uh, register your songs with SoCan oh yeah and that's an example of one thing you know um, but in doing that when you register with SoCan there's a lot of things around that that you can do to get money oh yeah you know what I mean I'm not gonna the game like Snoop Dogg said the game is to be sold not told yeah so I'm selling it in the booklet but I give you that I give the fans that one tidbit for free because since being in, um, since being becoming a part, a member of SoCan, I've been able to get other monies and other opportunities coming from that. Yeah, because it's connections, it's networking, right? Correct. Yeah, selling your brand. Correct. Awesome. Okay, so I guess our next question would be, outside of writing music, um, pushing your, your motivation brand, um, is writing your only hobby? Like, who else is G Wonder when he's not on the mic? Uh, let's see. When I'm not on the mic, I'm very much a people person. Yeah. Uh, I like enjoying the outdoors, for better for worse. Mm -hmm. um, what else? But I mean, you know, I think music, honestly, music engulfs my whole life. All the money that I make in life is from music. Mm -hmm. Either it's from my label or from my nine to five. So I'm always doing something music-wise. But I like watching. I like watching documentaries. Yeah. Music documentaries. Uh, 
I'm very up on like current events, issues with the black diaspora, mm -hmm. issues that we're facing, you know, I try to world make, politics. Yeah, yeah. with politics. I, I try to make that known on on my Facebook and stuff and some of my music, you know? Yeah. Because I don't want to, you know, I know like it's not like in the 90s when being pro-black and all that stuff was like still marketable, still a big commercial thing. Mm -hmm. Now it's a little bit, it's a different time, so I kind of try to slip jewels in here and there. But um, yeah, that's what I kind of like to do on my time off, and I, I like food. I, I, you know what I mean, I like trying different foods. Well, that goes back to that song from the, uh, yeah. from the culture. Culture, yeah, 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 yeah culture. Yeah, rap. Yeah. Such a big food place. Oh yeah, and so many different cultures. We're, we're blessed. We're blessed in that. You know? mm -hmm. And my other things that I like to do, can't really talk about on the film. All right, all right. That'll be for the uh, the private tapes, that's maybe right. a few years down the road. That's right. Um, and yeah, I guess. Uh, but uh, where does the road go for you from here? Where do you want to be about five years down the road from now? Years yeah, down the road. people ask me that question a lot. It's hard, you know. I mean, in five years, I'll still be putting out music, but I don't know to what degree. For yeah. me, I'm always going to be putting music out. You know what I mean? And I'm always going to have the label. Yeah. But my main, I think my main goal, as I'm going along, I'm finding that I wanted to um, more and more of administrative side of yeah. uh, growing motive. So maybe into management. PR. Yeah, different media. And just finding a lot of opportunities for the music that I make on the label and the artists that I make. And also for artists that are coming into the industry that yeah. want to know how to get money off the music. Well, yeah, it's a help welcome in a new way that can continue what you started, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. That's the aim. Always to help the youngers, yeah. to show them, you know. Because I think a lot of people in Toronto, they make music, we have a lot of talent, but not a lot of them make money off their music. Yeah, maybe because they aren't using their, their message to be so much as inspiring or, or motivational as you were saying, right? Like, I don't even think it's that, because not a lot of people like ratchet music nowadays, right? Exactly. So yeah. it's, not, it's not about the content, <laughs> it's just about their business. and what. Because a lot of people know how to record, right? It's easy to get record, it's easy to post beats or find beats or make beats, but after you're done, that's when the real work starts. Like, how yeah. do you take this thing and make money to come back from Push it. it. Yeah, you gotta yeah. be diverse and you gotta have new ideas. The younger right. people are supposed to, you know, create new things and create new ideas, so it's on them to do that. I know I know ways how to get money too off of it, you know, but I like to look to the youngers to, to innovate and inspire me. All right. All right, so if you had any closing messages to any aspiring MCs of Toronto or people that just want to immerse themselves in the wonderful culture of music we have growing here, right. what would it be? I would say the first thing is, um, you know, if you're Canadian and you're from Canada, support your local artists, as Mike Guts would say. Uh, Wait, do you mean if you're shows. Canadian and if you're from Toronto? Because you said if you're Canadian and you're from Canada. Yeah, if you're Canadian and you're from Canada. <laughs> That's kind of like saying the same thing twice, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, go to shows, network, yeah. meet other people, and don't think that you're the shit when you're not the shit. Yes. Humble yourself. Yes. These are very big keys, you know what I mean? Yes. Because because I've been in this game, like I told you, probably 20 years, and I'm still doing things that, I, that a day one person should do. But you know what? It brings me opportunities. It brings me the opportunity to talk to you. Mm -hmm. It brings me the opportunity to get footage from you. Mm -hmm. It brings me money. Yeah. It brings me meeting other people that are throwing shows and want to be on, they want me on their show. Yeah. Maybe I'll see another artist that I want to put on my show. So if you're not out and networking, forget about it. <laughs> Stay on YouTube. Forget about it. it. I'm with the gang star. With that whack attitude, you won't be going far. We always raise the bar. No weight lifting And don't compare me to him Cause we was raised different Obstacles in life I saw it go Niggas plotting on your life I saw it go Made a hoe your housewife I saw it go You done know my yo I saw it go All your niggas turn trife I saw it go He got addicted to the pipe I saw it go He doing 10 to life I saw it go You done know my yo I saw it go you sure to stay tripping. tripping. No plane ride. Yeah. Once again, it's G Wonder, G W -E Wonder. Whether you spell my name right, get your game tight. Owner of Motive Music Canada. Shout out my artist Set Two, Messiah, C Y on the beat, Frost, B S G to the world, Mac Millen. I'm not forgetting anybody else. Myself, <laughs> G Wonder. Uh, it's 2017. So far for the year, I put out three projects. First, we had the High Volume LP by G Wonder. 
We have a Messiah single called Hidden Emotions out right now. VSG to the World has an instrumental album called Zoned Out LP right now. And I have my second release of the year called Future Beats Volume 2 instrumental album out right now. In my October, I'll have my third full length for the year called Rare Jewels, so look out for that. And also look out for the high volume LP tour. We hit up Toronto. We'll be back in Toronto August 25th. We were in London in June. We'll be in Guelph on August 18th. So come out and check out the show, all right? Get connected. Thanks, homie.